Hello everyone, I wanted to announce a channel read-along today. Now, I know this is a really small channel in the thing that is BookTube, but I figured if even two or three of you join me on this, it might be a lot of fun. So I picked a book that I think is one of the most universally praised books in the science fiction genre. And it spawned several sequels, in fact, two series of sequels. And I'm gonna read all of it this year, spread out. So maybe some of you will join me for all of it. Maybe you'll just join me for the first one. Maybe you'll click off this video when I announce what it is. But whatever it is, I think it would be a lot of fun for some of you to read along with me this year. So the book that I want to read along with a lot of you is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. So you see behind me, this is kind of my sci-fi favorite shelf. Uh, I have some Pierce Brown, of course, my Dune novels, and then all of my Orson Scott Card Ender's novels. So Ender's Game is a classic in the science fiction genre. It's not a very big book, so I think a lot of you that may not read this genre quite a bit wouldn't be turned off by it. It's just 324 pages with the mass market paperback version that I have here. But this is one of the most universally praised and beloved books in science fiction. And it's one of those books that's a lot more universal than science fiction. In fact, those of you that read a lot of science fiction know that science fiction is big on ideas, and this one is chocked full of them. This is a book that is often handed out to cadets at military academies to read, because of the leadership ramifications from it. When I taught at my previous school, I think it was a requirement for ninth grade English, which had me thinking, why couldn't have I read this in ninth grade? Why I was stuck reading the classics that I hated then, but I love now, but that's another story. But it's a fantastically well-told story that has some very great themes. And it's something that I wanna reread for a big reason. The first re the biggest reason is that I just saw advertised The Last Shadow by Orson Scott Card, which is the final story in this universe that wraps up two different distinct book series, the Ender Saga and the Shadow series. So I have all of those here. I'll show you what they are. So the Ender Saga, there's five books. We have Ender's Game, we have Ender in Exile, Speaker for the Dead, Xenocide, and Children of the Mind. So that's the five books in the Ender Saga. And I read these, oh, five or 10 years ago. It's, it's, been, it's been a bit of time. So I remember them in many ways, but I don't remember a lot of specifics. And then, and then Card wrote another series called the Shadow Series, which is kind of a parallel. It follows one of the characters from Ender's Game. And he wrote these five books that, be, that are End, Ender Shadow, Shadow of the Hedgeman, Shadow Puppets, Shadow of the Giants, and Shadows in Flight. Well, he has just written one more book that ties in both of these series together and ends them together. And I didn't want to just read the book. I wanted to reread the entire series. So that's the genesis of this read-along. I'm going to spread them out one per month. And if you want to join me for one or zero or 10 of them and then read the last one at the end, that would be so fantastic. It would be great to be able to talk to you about all of these books. Here's the thing, though. I'm not going to read them in the order that I originally read them. I originally read them in the order of I read four books of the Enders series, and then I read Ender in Exile because it came later, even though chronologically it belongs here. And then I read the Shadow series. Instead, I'm going to read a little different order. And those of you that have read the series, this is probably a better order because it's more chronological. Okay, so in February, I'm going to read Ender's Game. Then I'm going to skip to the Shadow series. In March, I'm going to read Ender's Shadow. April, Shadow the Hedgeman. May, Shadow Puppets, June, Shadow of the Giants, July, Shadows in Flight, August, back to Ender, Ender in Exile, talk about that in a second, 
September. We'll read Speaker for the Dead. October will be Xenocide. November will be Children of the Mind. And then the final book, The Last Shadow, I'll read in December. And I hope it's out in mass market paperback at that point so that it matches the rest of the collection. Now, this is a chronological portrayal of the series. The first two books happen kind of concurrently, but I think it's important to read Ender's Game first. And that's the one that, even if you don't want to commit to 11 books with me, if you want to just read one... This, along with Dune, this is probably, I might like Dune a little bit better, but this is a very, very close second favorite science fiction book of all time for me. So I hope you join me for that. But the reason I'm doing this order, it's more chronological. The last two shadow books, I think, roughly correspond with Ender in Exile. So there's a little bit of overlap here in the middle, but this is going to be a lot more chronological, and hopefully the last book will, will be in the right place for that. But... I think this will be a lot of fun. You can read up on Ender's Game and hopefully join me. My plan is I will start each book the months that I mentioned at the very beginning of the month. So somewhere around Fe Sep September, September, February. That's the month I was trying to say. Somewhere around February 1st, I will start Ender's Game. And I won't post my review until the very end of the month. Okay, so it'll be the last video that I post each month that I read those. So um, that can give you an idea of how long, you know, you have to read before you read my review. Because what I'd like to do with all of the reviews, especially as we get into the series, is I'd like to do a little bit of spoiler talk about them. Talk about, you know, some of the specifics, the things that, that, that I liked, the things that I didn't like, things that surprised me, things I didn't remember, and, and things like that. So I hope that you'll join me on part or all of this journey. But as always, thank you for watching. Please like this video if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon to get notifications every time I upload a video. You can also follow me on Twitter and Goodreads. I'd love to interact with you there. But as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.